You're watching Make a Path Presents. My name is Ronnie Hayes. Let's talk, is the D character Dwight from the comic? Now, if you guys want a more spoiler description of who Dwight is from the comic book, I will leave a link in the description, as well as other explained videos from the comic that... Uh, it's comic book storyline that most likely some remixes of that storyline will appear in season 6 and 7. Uh, so go ahead and check that out if you want. Again, comic book spoilers in that, so I'm going to keep that separate from this. But anyway, this, we will go over some minor, minor stuff. Like I said, the, they're calling this character D, and because he's D and he gets Daryl's crossbow and... You know, comic book Dwight is iconic with the crossbow the way Daryl is in the TV show. It just makes sense that this is the character. Not only that, but he's with the woman who uh, seems to be his wife. And in the comic, it's the same thing. And this is like the backstory for uh, before he pisses off Negan and Negan burns his face. If you want all those information, check out the Iron video and then the Dwight video. But I think this is the backstory to that comic book story. And I think this is what Robert Kirk, I'm um, sorry, Scott Gimple was talking about, about covering backstory in the comic. And I would like your opinion too on how you think they fleshed that out. Do you think they did a good job or or not? I want to dissect it more. I was a little underwhelmed with how they did Dwight's uh, uh, background story, but I want to go into something that's very, very important. I think they put us a, a clue in here in setting up Dwight on a TV show. Uh, Daryl says, uh, you know, how many walkers have you killed? How many people and why? Now, I know a lot of people said, oh, Dwight can lie because Dwight says, uh, I didn't kill anybody. And Daryl asks why. And Dwight says, uh, wait, correct me if I'm wrong, but he says, because it changes you. I'm almost positive that's what he said, right? Yes, he could have lied, but that's that doesn't really fit with his character because even if he lied, what did he lie for? I can understand if he actually knew Daryl had a community of good people that took people in and he eventually went with Daryl and made it to that community. I can understand he would lie then because he wants to get into the community. But one, he didn't know Daryl had a community. Uh, Daryl doesn't bring that up until after. And two, he doesn't give a shit about going to that community. Uh, he doesn't even, from the looks of it, he doesn't even trust Daryl. Now, when he robs Daryl and leaves, uh, he's either going back to his old community, um, which would be a foolish thing to do, or he's just going to leave altogether and try to survive on his own and eventually be caught by members of his own community. Those, those are the only two choices I think that character has. But what's really important is how he says that uh, it changes you, you know? And I think that might be the most important foreshadowing or setup for this character because for those who know the comic book, he's a very changed man when we see him next, when he has a burn in his face. He kills a character immediately when he first appears. He doesn't even flinch, and he's... Uh, he's real cold and heartless about it, walking up to another character being like, hey, listen, we wouldn't have shot your guy, but you guys kind of, you know, started this, so uh, we're just repaying the favor. Now, that could be important because if Dwight is really this character who has gone this long without wanting to kill or having to kill, making the decision, the conscious decision to not kill anybody... And no, when he was talking about lighting the tankers on fire and boom and everything like that, he was talking about walkers, a herd of walkers, not uh, people. He didn't kill and axe people with the head. But if he made that decision not to kill and eventually he will be forced into killing, that could actually break him. Uh, and that's why we see him give up, because he loses his wife, which he loves. He gets burned in the face. He's probably treated like shit. And then he's forced into this life now where he has to be obedient to this bully who will just kill or order people to be killed, you know, in a blink of an eye. And that bully is Negan. Now, that could break his him as a person. And again, because he said there's no coming back from that, he could just be like, kill his first person, which I'm curious now, are we going to see that? But he could kill his first person and then just be like, screw this, I'm over it. And you know what I'm trying to say, where a person just loses hope in what they um, stood for, you know? And they just, it's all done from that point on. So they're just like a shell of their former selves. Now that leads, I, I wrote three things here. Will we see that? Will we see um, Dwight get up, his face burned? Will we see Dwight 
just become a shell of who he was, being as, uh, or I mean, he didn't kill Daryl. Will we see him just be broken and just kill anyone because he's told to or because that's the life or he accepted that's the way they live now? Will we see that? Um, and another thing is if we do see that and if we do see it this season, and this is the make or break for me in my opinion, if we do see Dwight later on this season, which it's almost a definite because the actor tweeted this out in November, and you guys know around this time, that's when they filmed the season finale. So this actor playing the Dwight, or we think it's Dwight, will be in the season finale or somewhere close to the season finale. So that brings me up to my main point that will make or break this for me as a fan. If they do show Dwight, there must be some sort of time skip. I just think it's unbelievable to skip a few days or maybe even a few weeks and we see Dwight as this changed, brainwashed, sort of uh, broken man who will just kill when he's ordered. Uh, maybe that's not even the direction they're going to go. Maybe he's going to be a loyal soldier. Would it was soldier for Negan? Would it, his face burned? But he's not a killer yet. But that would still kind of take away from who the character was in the comic book. But as we all know, they remix the characters and uh, they're not necessarily the same as their comic counterpart. Look at Morgan for an example. Season 1, he was pretty much the same. Season 3, he was crazy. The comic book was crazy, but he wasn't as dangerous, as structured and put together, you know. Uh, he was a very effective crazy in the TV show, in the... Um, comic he was not as stable he was pretty crazy uh but then after season th season three the morgan we got now is nothing like the morgan in the comic carol is the same way very different from the comic book will dwight be the same thing will it be very different from the comic now back to the time skip uh just real quick if they do keep it true to the comic and Dwight ends up being broken and just kill when he's ordered, I just feel, and I'm asking you guys if you feel, the ones that read the comic, uh, if you feel there needs to be a time skip to try to add some more realisticness that the dude would eventually, you know, snowball into becoming this new changed person, or are you fine with it just being like a week or two from now, from this point in the story? Because it does look like they're going kind of slow. We do know that the herd is building up and that's going to be a problem. Uh, probably be a problem at Alexandria. They're going to have to survive that and move into other storylines. So it might even be a month or two away. That might be enough time for me. I think a month or two might be enough time for me to be fine with the fact that Dwight has changed as a character. But my main thing is, uh, and I know I rambled a little bit in this video, I meant to keep it just a two minute video, you know, but my main thing here, if you got lost in my, my jibber jabber, my chit chat, uh, but my main thing is Dwight setting up the fact that he has not killed a person. I think that is the one of the most important things from the uh, previous episode, episode six. He hasn't killed a person. I think that is the strongest setup for his character later on being a killer who kills when he's ordered to without blinking an eye. Uh, no pun intended. Because <laughs> he can't blink because he burned his face, you know? Uh, anyway, leave your thoughts and opinions about this topic in the comment box. And if you have any predictions, leave those as well. Remember, no spoilers. Um, and when I say spoilers, I mean filming spoilers. If it already aired on TV, if it's in a trailer or an interview, that's fine. Anything leaked from the set, that's a no-no. I appreciate the cooperation. We're doing really good on spoilers as compared to other channels. I appreciate that. That is awesome. Uh, again, thoughts and opinions in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.